Hello there, Barry Sella Zoster here, and this is my Draw My Life. My full name is Herpes Verde. It's a family name, Barry Sella Virus, Humans Herpes Virus 3, but people usually call me Barry Sella Zoster. I was born back when ancient civilizations were a thing, and people thought I was smallpox. Ugh! Only until the 19th century did people realize that I wasn't. I mean, how could anyone confuse me with one of those low-life viruses? That's why, to this day, I only want to exterminate those human things. Anyway, when I infect little humans for the first time, they call me chickenpox, or varicella. Well, I have no idea what a chicken is, but oh well. Back to me. I love reproducing. I create millions of offspring inside one human cell. And this results in hundreds of red, itchy blisters, bumps, and scabs on the host's skin. I also make the little person feel horrible, with symptoms including loss of appetite, a headache, and give them a fever because I'm popping all of their cells. But hey, I guess that's what they get for misnaming me. I can be spread when a human sneezes or coughs, and by sharing food and drinks. A human can also get so-called chickenpox if they touch the liquids from blisters. This chickenpox disease is most common in densely populated cities. 90% of all cases have also occurred in both genders of children up to 12 years old. Ever since I was a little virus, I have loved to sleep. I have been known to sleep inside of a recovered chickenpox patient for a few decades. Every once in a while, I wake up. But I'm quickly attacked by the immune system, so I lay dormant once again. This happens a few times until, in 10 to 20% of all cases, the human's immune systems weaken, and I can infect them again. <laughs> the second time I infect the host, I'm given the name Shingles or Herpes Zoster. I love the second infection because I can make the human even more miserable. The first symptoms can be headaches or light sensitivity. People also feel like they have the flu. Afterwards, the human may feel itching or tingling or pain. Then a band or strip-like area of a rash pops up and turns into blisters. This has been described as extremely painful. I can only infect people who I've previously tortured with chickenpox and most shingles patients are over the age of 50 or have weakened immune systems. Many people who I infect over the age of 70 have further complications from my other pathogen friends who find the perfect opportunity to attack. Also, you know what's funny? If someone comes in contact with a shingles rash but have never gotten chicken pox, they get chicken pox instead of shingles. Weird fancy stuff. In the late 20th century, these pesky humans create these things called vaccines. I know, weird name. They are so evil. They take the very cell of viruses and weaken them just to inject them into humans to get the immune system used to us. How could they do that? It is effective 70 to 90% of the time for chicken pox and around 50% of the time for shingles. Holy! Humans also prevent chicken pox by staying away from the infected. Also, when some people are exposed to me, many will get an antiviral medicine such as acyclovir to keep me away. People exposed who can't get the vaccine, such as pregnant women, might also get a shot of antibodies as well. Some people will also get antibiotics to reduce the likelihood of complications such as bacterial infection. To end this drama life, I'd like to add that I have hundreds of naturally occurring cousins. These are called wild type strains. And with that, I'm off.